Whatever, I just don't want to die here, like, really. Okay, so he's gonna definitely go to that thingy. Please don't explode anything that you don't have to explode. So far, it is fine, I believe. Okay, there is going to be the iron thingy. Wow, I didn't even know. This is so interesting, dude. We've never had that before. Whatever, let's deal with those then. Yo, 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 guys, it is me, Happy Sark, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So, season two, week two tasks are finally out, and there's a lot of and a lot of new tasks that we are definitely gonna do, but right now, let's just hop inside of this Barker's camp, and let's see what kind of things he has prepared for us because we had to wait entire week until we will be able to go and meet him and I believe that right now we are gonna get some new tasks. He surely doesn't expect that. Go to the lab where it all started. So what? We're gonna get the new diary thingy now? It's time to show him uh, he started this war in vain. Okay. So we obviously got a new event outside. Okay, so we just went outside and is the event here? Yes, indeed. We got here a new event. 13 days. Also here is the 12th note. If you want, you can read it. And now we are just gonna go to this event. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be the cramp boss because as I said a lot of times already I try to stay away from spoilers as much as possible and if you're enjoying last dinner survival videos and if you want another part on season two and blah 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 then definitely make sure to smash that like button on the video because as I said your likes support the videos tremendously and I really really appreciate your support so now all the likes aside and all the other stuff aside, let's just hop inside of this event. And I am hoping that this is going to be the whatever cramp boss or something. If not, then hey, whatever. But I took a lot of scars. I took some VSSs. Or maybe this is actually going to be different. Okay, so this is going to be one soldier. Wow, wow. Tell me, I had to break a C4? Really? What? Okay, there is going to be the iron thingy. Wow, I didn't even know. This is so interesting, dude. We've never had that before. Whatever. Let's deal with those then. Like, literally, another guy is just standing. I literally put down every single person here. Nothing have happened. Okay, so there is going to be a turret, obviously. You know what? Let's deal with the turret really quickly. I'm wasting my scars here. Shouldn't be doing this, but hey, too late now. No stopping. So wait, did the turrets drop something? Okay, so we're gonna get one heat sensor. Pretty awesome event. I didn't expect this. What? <laughs> this is cool. Really, really, really. Obviously, we don't have metal cutters here. So seriously, did I need to bring a C4 here? Mate. Really? But we're gonna have everything in my inventory. I'm not coming back to the base. Probably shouldn't be wasting my inventory like that. Maybe I shouldn't be exploding the walls but again everything uh, that we are doing here is just for education purposes so we are gonna know everything ourselves and uh, so that you don't have to repeat my mistakes so but it looks okay there's gonna be another soldier okay let's deal with him we wasted my scar. That's so sad. I seriously wish I didn't have to do it. Okay, whatever. When we will be able to build such a fence at our base? I think that would be so awesome. Okay, so there's going to be another soldier, obviously. Let's deal with him. Did they drop anything? By the looks of it, they dropped nothing. Okay, so maybe inside we're gonna get something. Whatever. I don't see. Maybe there's going to be an axe or something. Maybe there's already one person screaming. Cyric, there is an axe in the secret whatever thingy, but... We're gonna go to inbox because we've already gotten some stuff from that season two event. So we're gonna chop down the door over here, even if I have to come here. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not doing something really, really bad. Okay, I'll need another hatchet. Okay, so let's go back to inbox. Take, let's take another hatchet. I do know that it's probably better to save them in the inbox, but I don't really want to go back to the base and take like a couple of hatchets and then come back here once again if I forget something. So while we have stuff in the inbox, let's use it. Okay, so we're gonna loot this place. I believe that we will most likely need to use the computer. So so we're gonna use it. And here we go. We got a free C4. Didn't need to take it from my inbox. Very beautiful. We're gonna activate that. Uh, no, no. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. You didn't see anything, guys. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who did this. Tell me. Tell me if I'm the only one. Like, uh... Not the first time that happened to me. I am not gonna lie. This is seriously not the first time that this has happened to me. I have no idea why I screamed like this. Neighbors, please don't call the police. I would really appreciate that. Oh my god. This is sad. Like, this is seriously a little bit sad. But hey, it's funny, right? At least for you. Probably it's definitely funny for you. But for me, it's not funny at all. Like, uh... Didn't even expect this. But hey, you're gonna learn from my mistakes this way. You're gonna stay away from these walls. You're not gonna chop down here or anything. You're gonna be really careful with your C4s. So you're not gonna do these mistakes like I've done. So most likely we're gonna take another C4 from my inbox. Two C4s for this event. Are you kidding me? Like, I can't believe that I messed so much. I can't believe that I seriously messed up so badly here. Whatever, let's destroy this. So we will definitely have to activate the computer and come inside into this thing. So far, event is pretty cool. I just wasted one C4. But hey, we learned from mistakes. Everything is fine. I'm not that sad. We still have a couple of scars. I definitely know that this is probably not going to be enough. But hey, we have here a couple of VSSs as well. Glocks, get out of my sight. Glocks are really awesome. 10 out of 10 weapons. But we will definitely probably need here something stronger. Like, I have a feeling that this is going to be the cramp boss. And uh, yeah, let's activate now the password. What? 
you know what to do with this Barker. You know what? I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Maybe, maybe we will need something or like whatever encrypted notes. I'm pretty sure this is, it has some sort of a meaning, maybe, but I don't know. So let's just hop inside of that event. That's it. So we didn't even have to use that other thing. And again, I cannot uh, destroy this little bunker. Most likely there's nothing inside anyways. Whatever. Let's just hop inside right now. Boom. I'm coming in, guys. And uh, who? 2C4s, like God knows how many hatchets. And uh, we are over here. So gonna take a little bit of that. Gonna eat up. Have my SWAT set. Hopefully if I die, my armor and other stuff is not going to disappear. So I already can see that there is this goopy goop. I'm gonna deal with it with my Glocks. Don't wanna waste my better weapons because somehow something tells me that... I should be really careful of all the weapons that I use. Okay, so we're gonna deal with this tainted zombie. We're obviously gonna take with other tainted zombies. I just don't wanna waste my better weapons here. Okay, so there's gonna be another computer. Okay, so you can read this. I've just read this. Okay, okay. Now, we are gonna go to the very... Yeah, this has to be the cramp boss. I'm sure this is going to be the cramp boss. I've seen screenshots of it. And uh, yeah, this is going to be... I tried my best to stay away from spoilers, but I have seen this room. Unless this is gonna be another boss and I don't know something. So, we're gonna take this BSS, right? Hopefully he doesn't spawn any others zombies i just think we'll have to go and fight with him and from what i know you don't have to throw him in the barrels or something that's just all i know for real so are we ready yeah probably let's go if we die we always we always can come back okay so this is going to be the specimen whatever other dude right oh so he definitely spawns other dudes here as well so how many more times he's gonna just attack me okay so does he have to go and uh, fall in the barrels right doesn't he okay so i have to go and deal with these dudes right now no don't i Okay, so let's deal with this guy. And I maybe he has to go in this barrel. Yeah, I think he has to go in this barrel, right? So here we go. He's just gonna go now in this barrel. Oh no, they don't have to destroy that thing. I kind of remember it. So this is going to be some sort of an event like last time. Oh, so there are some parasiters. Okay, we're gonna deal with this, with this, with this, with this, with this. Now gonna take different scar, dude. Now we're gonna deal with all of that. I probably should have taken here my spread shot. That would have been a bit better. We don't really care, but hey, we're gonna deal with all of those crawlers. So far, it's kind of fine. I think we're gonna go and take here another AK instead of that thingy. I don't think I'm gonna be wasting any of my things, uh, such as... Uh Whatever, I just don't want to die here, like, really. Okay, so he's gonna definitely go to that thingy. Please don't explode anything that you don't have to explode. So far, it is fine, I believe. Isn't it? Maybe I didn't have... Okay, so there are more Parasiters. Let's deal with those Parasiters. I think the only reason why I'm surviving here is because I'm using so many weapons. I don't know if I'll be able to do this on my free-to-play account. Because in any case, it is going to require a lot of... And a lot of guns, dude. Like, I don't see how it wouldn't require a lot of... And a lot of guns. Probably should have taken more... Wow, it feels like I am gonna die here. Maybe no, maybe yes. Okay, let's go. Let's try to destroy that thingy. Please attack me a little bit faster. Dude, I would appreciate that. Okay, I shouldn't have wasted that first aid kit. Here we go. He's just gonna jump inside of that other barrel, obviously. Here we go. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Did he just die? Did he just die? I have no idea. Please tell me he did. Okay, so we are destroying that. Oh my goodness, as you can see from my voice how I'm speaking here, everything is shaking. I won him from my first try. Is that OG? Like, I swear. Like, I can seriously, guys, pinky swear that I didn't know the strategy on how to fight him. This was seriously... I mean, it's pretty easy, dude. I had here the best weapons because there is already that one guy. Oh my god, so we have insanely modified scars. But I'm just happy that it didn't check out any strategies. The only thing that I've seen is that there's going to be like a cramp. This is not cramp boss, right? This is this was another specimen whatever boss. I have no idea why did I think that there's cramp. But I guess that you have to lure him in the barrels and that's it. Pretty easy on my first try, dude. Real professional here. Okay, so we got a guitar from him. Why? I have no idea. Whatever, let's take it. We got three steel bars. We got uh, one vitamin B complex. I mean, loot, you know what? Loot isn't bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Loot is definitely pretty okay. I love that they gave us lock and key. Like, seriously, I think this is the most important loot that we've gotten here. Like, I think without this lock and key, it would be totally trash. It's seriously the best thing. And there's that one guy who doesn't understand the joke. And he's like, oh my god, Turk, what does that lock and padlock do? They do nothing. It's seriously useless. Unless it's going to be more useful further down in the event. And I think we got in some more notes. So, transplantation into a living host. So Barker tried to do some experiments on living peeps. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna get out of this event and let's go. Let's see Barker. Let's see what he's gonna say about that. And how many more uh, rewards we've gotten here right now? Okay, so we are a bit, a bit further. That is nice. A step closer to our Kevlar armor. Okay, let's get out of this event. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. A lot of, and a lot of guns used. I believe that doing it on your free-to-play account may be worth it. I don't know. Like, rewards aren't worth it for what you do here. It's definitely better to get three steel or something. But I, I don't know. I don't 
don't think I'll be able to do this on my free-to-play counters, which is going to use a lot of and a lot of weapons, so I don't think I'll be doing it here. I just don't know. Obviously, there's going to be, like, whatever cool strategy where you can do it, but the point is there's no workaround on this event. Like, you will have to do insane amount of damage. You'll need to have either grenades, either spread shots, either some sort of cool modified weapons, like with AK grenade launcher or something. So this event is going to be hard, and no matter what, you'll have to shell out a little bit of weapons. Uh, it's definitely going to cost you more than the other event, probably. The, the one where we did with the Specimen Screamer. So I am not really, really sure. If you have weapons, then definitely do it. I mean, if you need that guitar, definitely do it. I mean, I would I would do everything just to get a third guitar. <laughs> I have no idea why they gave us guitar, but hey, whatever. Why not? So let's go. Let's talk to Barker. Wouldn't be surprised if we'll have to fight him here right now because... I mean, do I spoiler myself from what I know? Not gonna be spoiling anything else here, just in case if you don't know something. So I don't want to spoiler here too much. Okay, form. New quest. A note in the diary. Why did they say form? Uh, I don't know how they managed to do it, but they sent those monsters. Get ready for defense. Okay, so wait, we have to go and fight those dudes? What? Do I have to fight them? Really? Like, oh, okay, uh, maybe we're gonna save them up. I don't think I should be wasting my weapons, but hey, maybe that's good. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, will I be able to save all of them? Am I gonna get something if I fight with them? Maybe I shouldn't be wasting my weapons. I feel like I shouldn't be wasting, but don't worry, guys. I know what I'm doing. Been born and raised here. I think it hit me. Uh, I need some time to think it over. Come back later. Wait, don't tell me that we'll have to come back here on the third week. Really? <laughs> Come back on the third week. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still cool Like I still love that they spread it out these events because if they did everything here in one day You would just seriously burn out and you would do everything here and it wouldn't be fun at all Like I, I agree with what they did here. Don't get me wrong. I think it's fun it's Just it's really fun that we got to do only one event here. I need to time to think it over. Okay, dude Okay, dude, don't worry. Well, we fought that did I get something more in the diary? Okay, we got two more notes What okay, so we've read this note. Let's go for the 15th and now there are two of us dude There are still other dudes I think it's a glitch or something because in that note, in that 15th note, it said that uh, all of these dudes died, some left, and now there are only two of us. I think uh, they were supposed to die, if I'm not mistaken, but I think I saved them. I've beaten the game literally. Cyric uh, broken the Jatayak have broke the game, 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, really awesome, like that cramp event, whatever. I think they're gonna be gone right now. Yeah, they're gone, as you see, it's that's what was supposed to happen. Uh, by the note. Okay, so we are only two left dudes here. Okay, that's sad. So soon we're gonna check out other events, but we have a task here. Inflict 5,000 damage in the infected forest with a spear. Like, how are you supposed to do this task? With a spear in the infected forest. But drinking five bottles of whiskey, I think it's gonna be pretty easy. Oh, inflict 100 damage with a motorcycle and we get only five points. This task is pretty awesome, but hey, we're gonna do it a bit after. Uh, maybe on a live stream. And now jo let's join this survivor's camp event. I'm not really sure if this is going to be the same Thomas's event or whatever that is or if it's something different okay oh i'm happy uh, someone saw the signal what's up tom we already know what's gonna happen here but i don't really even want to waste my weapons do i have to give him anything here okay take this broken glock i believe maybe maybe we're gonna save these dudes because i did on a live stream this event right i try to save all of them and if you do not know what's gonna happen if you save all of them i mean i'm gonna show it right now i'm wasting weapons here don't worry about that but, I mean, not really wasting, because I do have to kill, like, 500 tainted zombies or something, so I believe it's gonna be worth it. Okay, let's deal with another wave here really quickly. I do believe that another wave of these zombies should spawn. Here we go, they spawn on the down by the bingos. After that, I think maybe we're even gonna go for a raid. Like always, we're not gonna miss a single uh, raid, so let's deal with a top wave of zombies over there. Uh, that has broken. Okay, let's give me... Another AK. Let's give with those. I should have probably used my spread shot, right? Okay. Oh, no. This is just a tainted bloater. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with more dudes over here. Okay. Save my dude. Is that it? Is that enough? Okay. There is going to be a wave of zombies up the down. So what I'll try to do right now is spread shot all of them. All of them got just destroyed. And is that it? Is that seriously entire event? Yeah, most likely that's entire event. Let's go to Tom. Uh, thanks, God, it's over. Thank you for your help. And he doesn't give me anything, so I think just because of that, we're gonna take his clothes. Because you know what? Like, I think it's pretty rude, you know? We did everything here, and he didn't give us anything. I don't really think that he has to give us something, because after all, like, we're kind of friends. Not really. We just know each other here, but I saved their lives. So giving me at least some useless stuff, like maybe one bottle of whatever... Water would be better than nothing. Okay, so we are now at 380 tainted zombies, so 120 more, and we will be done. So it was pretty fun, you know, second week event was pretty okay-ish. You definitely have to use there a lot of guns. 
And uh, the most important part is probably to stop those zombies because I do know that there was an event uh, like that probably last Halloween or last Christmas or something. It was Cramp or Greg or whatever and it was exactly everything the same. I would even say, say that this is exactly the same event. It's just that some textures look differently, but this is exactly the same event that we've done in the past. Okay, so we're gonna do now a revenge raid. Very beautiful. So that's how I kind of knew how to fight him because most likely if this was a bit more unique boss, it would have been a bit harder to fight him with the first try. So if you've never seen that boss in your life and you weren't able to defeat him in your first try, don't worry about that. It's totally normal because I think it took me a couple of tries to defeat him, a cramped boss when we did it like last year or something. So we're going to be raiding a base named Lex. So after forever and a little bit, aka 84 years of sorting out my inventory, we are prepared to go and raid this Lex base. So I have zero clue what kind of loot we're going to get here. Just as obvious, just as usual. But I do know that I have to use 1c4 in this base to open it up and this is going to be like entire metal base so that's kind of really really sad when i say it's kind of sad it's just 100 sad but kind of we are used to it so not a big deal and inside we're gonna get exactly only one chest and look at this he doesn't even have cb radio assembled like very amazing base seriously 10 out of 10 very beautiful base like wish we're gonna get more bases like that in the future and inside here we're gonna get well at least we're gonna get four guns you know what this base is gonna get Cyric's approval like you might be wild Cyric are you crazy oh, I didn't even uh, upgrade the weapons here okay so we will most likely have to deal with this wave of zombies uh, doing a little bit of noise but again probably wave of, uh, another wave of zombies isn't gonna spawn so it is not a big deal and uh, let's open that up you know what it was pretty cool right you might call me crazy but we got a four really good weapons here and uh, for once c four maybe it wasn't like 100% completely worth it, but we've done way worse, right? So this base gets Arx approval, even though it's not interesting. Like, it's 0 out of 10 interesting, but loot is like, let's say, 5 out of 10. And you know what? It gets Arx approval somehow, some way. It's pretty easy to get into Arx approval. If you get like average of 2.5, you're going to be in the Arx approval. And we have now here a chopper event spawned. So let's load in and let's deal with those bad boys. And yeah, again, the same chopper event. I have no idea. Like, literally, probably 70% of these chopper events are just those those dudes who spawn over here but at least this event is a bit more interesting if there are zombies yes there are some zombies so i'm gonna start loading here the first chopper and inside we're gonna get a lock two red tickets let's deal with that dude we're gonna now try to loot another chopper okay the dude started fighting me already here okay that's not cool at all so let's let's deal with them healing up i think i'm gonna be wasting my first eight kits after every 50 health or something why don't he shoot zombies like literally why is he attacking me can you please explain to me? Just go to sleep, mate. Ah, so let's loot here the chopper. And inside, if we're going to get a full durability weapon, that will be really awesome. Well, we got a little bit of iron. I think probably that's better than nothing. So here we're going to activate the sprint skill while zombies are here. And I will try to loot those dudes. Maybe they're going to drop. Okay, so we got that. Uh, baseball bat. Don't want to take it. Sorry about that, dude. And here we're going to get some more first aid kits. You know what? Pretty cool chop event. Like, I think Cyric would definitely approve it. So right now we're gonna go for another raid. So let's just sit on the chopper and let's get outside. I already prepared there everything. And by the looks of it, this is going to be a really, really big base. So finally, we're gonna get an awesome raid. And I would also like to talk a little bit about the new boss that we've done today. Because I think this new boss, whatever his name was, like the really cool whatever. People call him Cramp because I think that's how he was called on that New Year's event. When we had like three uh, really ultimate and strong bosses. And this boss like was not nothing compared to the screamer boss screamer boss like was really really interesting it had unique it had unique like abilities like people were coming out of those cells it had like a really awesome strategy you didn't really have to waste a lot of weapons if you knew the strategy but here for the cramp boss it's more like you just have to have really high dps weapons otherwise those a bunch of small zombies are gonna go and attack that huge barrel or whatever it is and it's just gonna explode and you're gonna die well at least that's what was going on in the first cramp event that we've done uh, years ago like about a year ago probably even less than a year ago whatever so i think i maybe have raided this base in the past but i don't think we're gonna get there a lot of chests but i do know that i have to place my one c4 over here i didn't take a c4 are you kidding me like seriously i have to waste another c4 from the inbox this is so sad can we get a like on the video seriously i do know that i speak a lot about likes but smash the like on the video because i'm such a dumb dumb today we wasted three c4s and a first wave of zombies so did i at least mod the weapons yes i did so let's do the snap transition so zombies are totally sleeping and resting and as you can see there is going to be a lot of and a lot of and a lot of chests i do know that the loot here is going to be like mediocre maybe even kind of good i do know that in one of those chests we should get a lot of and a lot of tactical armors but which one i have no idea so i think let's just damage all of these chests now i didn't take hatchets 
I didn't take any hatchets. I literally came to the raid. I took nothing. I didn't take hatchets, dude. How? How do you do this? How? Oh, can you please smash the like? <laughs> Well, at least I have a couple of iron hatchets in my inbox. I really don't think it's worth to do it. But you know what? I think we're going to start chopping down the chest like this. I thought we we're going to damage all of them, but I don't have a lot of hatchets. So hopefully I will be able to find uh, one of those just by luck. Which one is going to have a lot of and a lot of tactical armor. That would be beautiful. Okay, here we're going to get some more weapons. Amazing. And also today we're going to try out another thing. Because from somebody I've heard that if you have like literally low durability weapon. That it has like 1% durability. Then you can go to Barker's camp, right? And there you can infect your weapons with that tainted flesh and it's gonna restore your health completely like at least on that weapon it's gonna restore the durability i mean so i want to check that out if that's the truth and then maybe maybe it's that tainted flesh is going to be kind of at least worth it but again we have to check that out i probably should have died on that wave and then spawn back at the base so that i can get more of those hatchets but whatever which one of those just is going to have tactical set you know what i don't want to really check it out i don't want to do too much research but i think that's what i will have to do like we're gonna do some more research i might be mistaken but i believe that this chest is going to have lots of and lots of armor and yes indeed this was the exact chest that i wanted to loot and it's the wave of zombies is gonna spawn and i'm not even sure if this dude is gonna have even other better stuff i don't think we will have to go and chop down all of these chests but i really think most of them are gonna be empty we've gotten here the best loot so let's deal with another wave of zombies but i think that there is no way i can have a good day in last day on earth i mean today i was lucky enough and i dealt with cramp like on my first try everything was awesome everything was really really amazing but then boom i failed like a couple of raids here if that's not bad rng in life then i have no idea what is bad rng in life so now we're gonna fill up the chopper with armor because i mean we have a lot of armor at the base but you know what we started running out of that tactical armor and i believe that it's always gonna be better it's not like we have anything else here to take from this base anyway so let's take the rest of the armor and i think we're gonna start chopping down the rest of the chest here Maybe we're even gonna damage some of them. I think we, I need only like three hits to destroy it. One, two, and on the third hit, we destroy the chest with level two hatchet. Yes, so let's deal a little bit of damage to these chests. Okay, so the big one is gonna spawn now any moment. So what I gotta do is just be kind of prepared or he's just gonna destroy me. Okay, here, nothing here, obviously. Nothing here, obviously. Nothing, mate. Here, obviously, nothing. Just heal up, nothing. And in this chest, obviously, we're probably gonna get nothing. But psych, open the chest up. We're gonna get nothing. I don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are gonna get nothing from that base. So this base, I don't know. Like, if I... This base gets Arx approval just because I failed with hatchets. It doesn't mean that it's bad. Like, for this amount of armor for 1c4, I think it's worth it. And plus, we got, like, two stacks of, like, one stack of first aid kit and one stack of bandages. So, I think it's worth it. Okay, so we're gonna give to this raider a broken hatchet. And he's gonna be happy with it. So, so long, dude. I mean, see you literally in five seconds. So, we also have now a couple of awesome tasks here to do. Like, on the week two, for example, we have to drink five bottles of whiskey. So, let's do that, like, right now. Because I think we're gonna have enough of those. So, here we go. One, two... Okay. Okay, we cannot do it. Are you kidding me? How long is it gonna take? Will I have to seriously do one bottle by one bottle? Okay, so this is gonna be two, three, four, and five. Did that work? Yes, indeed. I think that totally worked. And obviously, you know what time is this. Let's go quickly take a shower. But I think this time is seriously going to be a normal shower. Like, I've done these jokes in the past, but for real, this time, we're just gonna take a normal shower, like, without anything. And I would love to go to the convoy event, so let's drive over there because I also took here a lot of red tickets, orange and green. So we're gonna do a little bit of a crate opening there at Bunker Alpha because as you see, we don't have a timer, so it's reset. We gotta definitely open that up. We're gonna get a couple of guns just to replenish the weapons that we've used on that uh, cramp boss. It's not cramp boss, it's definitely it had a bit different name, but I didn't even check out his name like totally. It was some sort of specimen. Like I'm gonna call it specimen destroyer or whatever. Like, is this? Nah, this is going to be just the zombie, roaming zombie event. I'm not really sure if it's worth it to do it. Like, especially on this account. Like, on my free-to-play account, maybe it's worth it like, to loot a couple of those trucks. Because uh, sometimes in one of them, you're gonna get, like, a first aid kit or something. But other than that, it's not worth it. Well, aluminum plate come to my pocket. And I also believe that uh, this thingy is gonna be a bit more worth it let's deal with this toxic spitter and let's loot this truck i think that this truck is gonna drop me again like bandage or something maybe yeah we're gonna get some bandages so these are the most important trucks that you should loot to get first aid kits other than that i think you can just rush strict away in the middle uh, to get that finger hopefully we're gonna be able to get the finger inside and then i'll be able to do a crate opening no fingers inside are you kidding me seriously this is so sad i just still have no idea i cannot wrap my head around how we're gonna do 5,000 damage on uh, in the infected forest so we have to 
literally fight the witch until we're gonna deal 5,000 damage because this is the infected forest and there isn't that many zombies. Like, I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but I believe that we will have to do it like little by little, not in one day. I think it's gonna be really hard to do it because I also feel like a spear can do only a thousand damage. So you will have to destroy five spears and do it. It's gonna cost a lot of first aid kits. So that task is pretty rough, but I think I'll need to finish all of the tasks if I wanna get my Kevlar armor and I wanna get my Kevlar armor. I have a lot of things prepared for it. I want to test it out properly. And I will get it. Well, here we go. We just inserted the password. And if sometimes you forget the password, then uh, make sure to join me on Discord. Discord.gg slash happy For those who have Discord, you know how to use it. For those who don't have Discord, it's a pretty cool place where you can chat. So that's very awesome. But while we are at this moment when we are self-promoting here, I mean, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, then make sure to check me out there at Happy Cyric. Thank you very much. So I also think we're going to be able to get our floppy crate really, really soon. But probably not today. Maybe we're going to get it tomorrow. Maybe we're going to do another live stream. I think we'll do it maybe on weekend. I'm not really sure, but we'll see. Okay, let's deal with another fast biter, another dude. And I think that right now we will be able to open up all three crates at the same time. So we're going to start from the red crate and then we're going to open up from the green crate. Okay, red crate, boom. Let's open up now the orange crate, boom. And let's open up here the green crate, boom. And let's see, let's see what kind of goodies we're going to get in. So inside of the first crate, we're going to get one Glock. Very beautiful. So inside of the orange crate, we're going to get an M16 with an Uzi. I love Uzis. Uzis are awesome as well. Don't really have enough of them and here we're gonna get an ak and three m16 so not really that the best plus we didn't get a c4 so red crate is kind of bad like i think it's the 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 worst it can get because i mean we did get here an ak and m16s but i would probably prefer to get maybe glocks than m16s because m16s are kind of meh so we are back now in our free to play account a level 81 and i have no idea how we even reached to level 81 because like i said i don't really play that often here in this account but i mean somehow we did it so now we are on our grind to get that tactical backpack it's at level 15 and hopefully we're gonna get him because now we'll be able to do the week one tasks plus week two tasks i think they are gonna be finishing a little bit faster we're either gonna do it on the live stream or maybe we're gonna do it on the video but right now we got this destroy con event so i want to do it because i also want to spawn uh, one of those whatever they call the chopper events because i haven't done a chopper event for quite some time and also i have a bunch of skull crushers at the base and skull crushers i kind of 50 50 i mean they're good like skull crushers are okay so that's what i will try to use them right now here I am gonna loot this truck. We're gonna get a little bit of first aid kits, bang that just because that's what I need. And maybe I'll be lucky enough, and here at least I'll get a finger. And a dude definitely comes at me out of nowhere. Okay, so he is just going to attack me. Okay, so I'll try to go and fight him here with my skull crusher, obviously, just like this. Just like that. Please don't destroy my armor, mate. Okay, so he definitely destroyed a lot of my armor. I should have uh, prepared here and taken at least an M16. So that's what I will do. I thought that this is a zombie event, but then I see that it's not, so... Whatever, now we're gonna loot this truck here as well. Hopefully he's not gonna see me. And inside we should be able to get another bandage probably. No, we did not get a bandage here. Well, that's just sad. Okay, another dude. Uh, and I think he's not gonna drop me a Winchester here as well. That's kind of sad. So I'm trying to keep distance on him because I think I can outrange him here with my uh, M16. And okay, he didn't drop anything. So kind of a lame event that they dro don't drop any weapons. At least like 5% durability would be better than nothing. You know what I mean? And does this dude have a melee weapon? Nope, he just has a Glock. Okay, so I don't want to go and do anything with you, mate. Just get out of there. Okay, for some reason he was checking me out. Now we're going to go to the top and uh, I'll try to go and take stuff from the dude. Okay, he didn't have anything. And I believe that this guy doesn't have anything here as well. Okay, he didn't drop a single thing. Yeah, whatever. Another garbage event. Seriously, so sad. But maybe at least inside of this box, we're going to get something nice. And inside, we got just nothing. Whatever, let's take the rubber parts. And uh, that's it. I'm not fighting the guy. I'm not fighting the guy. I already got way too much damage. And my armor is going to break any moment now. And if I'm going to do a chopper event, I am risking there a lot and a lot and a lot. Okay, so I'm now at Bunker Alpha. I took here a little bit of weapons. I don't have here any tickets. And I'm not planning to go into Bunker Alpha today. So I think that we're going to go outside and we will go to police department. I just want to check out if I don't have here any, any, any uh, brown badges. And by the looks of it, we don't have here anything. So now we'll go to police department.
apartment and there I'll start dealing a little bit of damage to those zombies because we need to do 20,000 damage and that's gonna be about like 20 waves because I've done that uh, task on a live stream and I think it took me like literally 25 waves just to get uh, 20,000 damage and most likely we're gonna do that once again on some sort of uh, on some sort of a live stream because I mean 25 waves isn't that hard we can easy peasy do it on this account it's just gonna take like 20 maybe 10 minutes or something but now let's just drop inside of this a uh, blackboard PD and here we should be able to find a little bit of brand badges and brand badges are always awesome because we can get there some healing items so first of all let's loot this uh, thingy and are we gonna get here an energy drink they moved those energy drink to inbox true i forgot about it and i still have here one energy drink i'm not sure if it moved it from this thingy or i already had it before i have no idea how those energy drink works here right now if you still get energy drinks then leave a comment down below because as i said i've already tried doing motel once and as soon as i joined in that energy drink have spawned in my inbox but i haven't seen a lot of people confirming that they get the same thing again so i'm not sure if you get your energy drinks or not and if you still got in your at least one energy drink then definitely leave a comment down below i'd like to see if you can still get them so i mean yeah skull crusher is kind of fine because maybe they're good for the sneak damage but i still think that using them this way is kind of efficient as well because i don't have a lot of other melee weapons and using skull crushers like that is kind of fun as well so we're gonna deal with another here zombie officer then we're gonna go loot some other chests over here nothing over here okay hungry chomper most likely with hungry chomper we're gonna deal here with a uh, weapon with a gun because he's gonna restore his, his health as soon as he attacks me so not a big deal already one a brown badge only three more and i think we'll be able to get out of this place okay another zombie officer another zombie officer go to sleep and a brown badge yes finally thank you very much and no nothing to loot okay but at least we're gonna be able to open up a four brown thingies and at least be worth it give me like at least one good melee weapon like a cleaver or something so dropping one two three four baby and let's see what kind of goodies we're gonna get inside okay two bandages Kind of 50-50 so far. Okay, hockey stick. Definitely not going to bring that garbage to my base. A baseball bat. We already have enough of baseball bats at the base. Not going to bother about it. And here. So you know what? We got kind of garbage. So I highly suggest you checking out this video on how I looted Barker's bike. I'll click you on the second card and you will see a swamp zombie with abilities. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlists, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, smash that like button while we're at it. And peace, peace, peace out. And follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Happy Cyric. Mm-hmm.